Okay, so this is my tutorial showing how I made my third map painting um, for my dragon simulation. In this, I'm going to show how I did every single thing that I did to create this um, map painting, including the bits that I didn't actually use in the end, um, just because I want to get a good overview of what I, what kind of processes went through my head. Um, initially, I created a really cool library of different pictures that I thought have had really interesting angles, amazing backgrounds, and whatever, and they all have specific things within them. That I wanted to incorporate into my final matte paintings um, and so I used all of them in all of the different ones I use. So I started off with my base kind of template that I took from my original animatic. It was kind of like um, the template <laughs> of what I needed to create. Um, and it also gave me a good idea as to the scale compared to what dragon would be like. So I initially started off with images like this one, trying to get a good angle um, that linked to my template. Um, and I tried different things out, like for example, if you click Control T and then right click onto the image, you can transform the image so you can make um, you can distort it, you can use perspective, which is what I tried to use here. Um, so basically making it so that it looked like it was going, getting smaller as it went further away. But in every time I tried to do that with any different image, it just kind of looked like it was being forced. It didn't look quite right and I really wanted these matte paintings to show off my abilities. So I didn't end up using that. Um, my first try of doing the matte painting properly was it, 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 it was a successful attempt but it just it just didn't look quite right so this is the city that I created I basically just beefed up this image taking lots of different aspects of one city and copying them in different places and changing them and stuff so that it didn't look like it was literally a copied and pasted thing um, just to beef up the look of everything and make it look like a proper city um, and I also created walls for the back and the front so that it looked more like what the template looked like so if I pop those on yeah so as you can see it didn't quite look right so the walls didn't match the city and the city looked really like dull and grayscale and if I go on to for example my matte paintings there you can see how much colour is in that there's greens there's blues there's oranges purples there's reds there's everything from the sunset and the greenery and everything and just the grayscale of the city would not have worked within the kind of atmosphere I wanted to create so I ended up scrapping that completely and starting again with a different image so my final matte painting kind of incorporated a lot of different things. I started off, instead of using the city as my basis, I started off with a background. Um, and to do this, I took one image and basically manipulated it so much. I copied and pasted and just so many things and layered and layered and layered so that it looked basically exactly like my template. But overall, I thought that that looked really really nice and it was taking the same images from my first matte painting um and i thought that, that was a really good way to go because then it would all match and it would look like it fits um and then started adding the bottom layers of background and getting ready for where the castle would be and then looking at my little library of castles and bits and pieces I found one that I thought looked perfect and that is this one and I literally did just copy and paste the castle just because it looked exactly how I had in my head as to what I wanted it to look like but it didn't quite fit it looked a bit too green around the edges and yeah so I just had to basically play around with lots of different tinges 
darken the background to make it look like it was further away and then obviously the sunset was going on directly onto the um, castle from the angle from the first map painting so I wanted to kind of show that off um, so I made it like lighter with yellows and then darkened it slightly so they were all kind of fit together and then put a really nice kind of yellowy reddish tinge over the top so that it looked just like it was sunset but it was getting darker at the same time because from the time that the dragon would be flying towards it and to this point in the scene it would have gotten darker um and so yeah that is how I created my third matte painting um I played around a lot with different colour balance, brightness, contrast. Um, I use masks specifically to highlight different areas, like for example, in the background. If I'd left it, yeah, it looks good. If, with adding the darkened background, it just kind of makes the castle pop, which is exactly what I wanted. So yeah, that was my final matte painting and I feel like it was really successful. It wasn't as complex as it possibly could have been but I feel like it has produced a really strong image for me to use in my um, simulation um, and I hope this has helped anybody with kind of the basics like ideas of creating map paintings um, I feel like I still do have a lot to learn but I really enjoyed this and I think within my next projects I'm going to focus more on map paintings creating things that are way more complex um, and that show much more promise um, but yeah this is probably this is the most successful complex map painting that I did and I'm happy with it I hope that you like it as well please comment below thank you very much for listening